I'm going to make iron golems way better in Minecraft. I'll start by taking the general idea of the iron golem and improving it in every single way. We're going to need to shrink these legs and basically start from scratch. These are not going to cut it. Instead, we're going to make them look way more robotic. And the real fun is going to be turning the body into a bulky beast of bionic. Include these impressive shoulder muscles. And now we need to build out this chest piece as well. For the hands, I'll use some of these gray pieces to make these super strong fingers. I'm pretty happy with the shape of this guy. He kind of has a mushroom head, but the blockiness make it still feel like it fits in with Minecraft. But now that it's time to retexture, I'm going to focus on giving it that rusted robot feel. I really like this tan color for the golem much more than the original gray. Now, in honor of the original iron golem, the boring golem, we're going to give our better golem the patches of moss. It's just too iconic to leave out. And the vines too. Don't you think I went for getting those? Now for the final touch. Some little flowers growing on it. This is definitely the best golem ever created. But let's see if it looks this good in game. Look at how awesome this robot super golem looks. The portions throughout are perfect and especially these robot fingers are immaculate. There is one thing wrong with this golem. He's not quite big enough yet and we can feed our robot iron ingots to get him to grow up into a big massive golem of destruction here you go junior oh my goodness he got bigger already that was one ingot and look how much bigger he is he's almost as big as the tree another one well let's just feed him to max height he should get to at least 20 blocks high folks oh my gosh oh he's gone crazy he's charging around oh my word look at this destruction he's just circling around the entire area and ripping up all of the blocks, the stone, the dirt, the concrete, the diamonds. No diamonds yet. That would be useful. You are immaculate. You deserve a 10 out of 10. Let's make a golem that could defend against anything. Build out the torso to really add on some bulk. Create some rugged but sturdy arms and legs. We can't forget the fingers. Splash on some elemental stone textures and finish off with the classic mossy growths along its back. Improved golem at your service. This looks like a pleasant spot for our brand new iron golem to hang out. This guy's arms look like each of them could curl over a thousand pounds in a very tiny little waist. I think this is the definition of skipping leg day. But as long as his arms are beefy enough, he shouldn't have to worry about these tiny little spiders. Let's see what our beefy golem does when he gets nearly overpowered. Targets with a red laser eye beam at first, pushes the spider away and blasts it at a distance. Very intelligent. And there's only one little cave spider left underneath. Oh boy, did not even use the laser on that last guy. Just swung those big arms at him. The laser and the arms combo is working quite nicely. And he seems fairly friendly so far. We'll just let him roam around for a little bit. This might be a hot take, but iron golems are pretty dull. So we're gonna bring some real life to it. Start by making him way bigger, even bigger. After giving him these big shoulders, I'll need to move his arms out like this too. Give some more shape to his legs. Let's go for a cybernetic powered golem with some blue eyes. And on top of that, let's give him his power core. And as a little detail to make it super realistic, let's add this cube to the core. To make it more metallic too, I added some detail on his fists. And finally, even though it's more metallic, I also added onto the mossy exterior of the golem. And this golem is truly ready to protect a village. I'm gonna name you Beefcake. As you can see, I've come prepared. Probably start with sneaking up behind him with a jump and a slam. Bam, bam, bam. This is way too much power. Even more damage. Fun. And we got him. <gasps> my goodness, we got the golem core. I went through the trouble of obtaining my golem core. I should be able to use it as I please. Boom. Destruction through the entire village. Look at all of that XP. I'm becoming stronger by the second. Another golem. Bam. Bam. Oh, geez. He's turning on me. He's turning on me. Yeah. I'm going to make the iron golem better by giving it baby and mecha variants. So let's shrink down this iron golem big time. Look at that tiny little body. Oh, 
let's recolor it so it'll be more earthy. I think a baby iron golem would be made of stones. So that's what I'm going for here. And the head won't work here. So let's shrink it and turn it into an eye. A big yellow eye will be perfect. Put it inside the body, change the color to be more stone-like. And then I'll start making this cobblestone texture on it. We'll use this all over the golem. Now for the green moss on the head. Even as a baby, it still has this stuff growing all over. I created another piece and I'm going to use this to make some flowers on top. It's like a bouquet of roses growing from the golem's skull. Now it's time for the mecha. I'll detach this iron golem torso and move it up like this, then start to recolor the whole thing this metallic blue. I'll change the eyes to red to make it really get that robot look. I also added this hatch in the back with a door swung open. This is going to be where someone controls it. Now I'll add this digital rose design to the front and it's time to retexture things chrome. I went ahead and added some long robot arms just like this and fixed the legs in the same way. I also wanted to make the driver's seat extremely comfy looking. And with some final exhaust pipes and robot parts, that just leaves us with the joysticks to control the golem. This is sweet. Let's give it a spin in game. The one eye is a little bit freaky. Overall, this baby iron golem turned out super cute. These guys are not to be joked about. We know how big they can get and we made them even bigger. Those little tiny baby golem arms do pack a punch though. A big massive juicy punch. Let's bring some pillagers in here and see what happens to these poor guys. Look at this baby golem chase them down. Oh, the arms are strong, but the baby golem is still a baby. All that remains of him is a tiny little rock. Goodbye, goodbye, and return you to life, little baby golem. It's time our baby is instantly moving into evolution, growing up into our golem. But don't stop there. The anger of the pillagers overtakes the spirit of this golem, and he instantly moves into the third phase of evolution, the mecha golem, the robot dominator, ready to take over the world. Huzzah. Now let's get to work, buddy. We have got the mech completely under our control. We can use the joysticks on top to force this guy around. We can run through any block in our way, charging through the world with no regard for life. And our mech defenses have been improved greatly. Bring in a couple of these guys and then get back in our mech here and charge them all down. Boom! Every pillager up into the airy. <laughs> Bring in more pillagers and throw them all up into the air. Sayonara, guys. That was all those pillagers so quickly. The mech is very angry about what happened in childhood, and it's paying off big for us. I'm going to turn this iron golem into a cybernetic weapon of destruction. Build on the steel chest piece. Give him a big old arm laser. Ooh, the claw. claw. And add some heavy artillery as the finishing touches. Yeah, I would not want to mess with this dude. Some sort of zapping ray gun on his right hand. And on the left hand, it's one of those claws you see inside of a little arcade game. Probably pull in a few more of these guys too. Somehow they've managed to work out their differences and they all get along great. It's only one way to truly test this alliance. With an army of pillagers. They have allied rockets out. Oh my word. The rockets are still coming out. Heat seeking missiles. Look at all these pillagers. Look at all these missiles. That annihilation. This is not an island you want to find yourself stranded on. What happens if we pull in a demonic creeper? The creepers actually don't even have a chance. It's our first victory over these guys. Let's turn this iron golem into a shroom golem. Let's give him a better mushroom color and start giving him a mushroom cap. Stack these blocks up and make them bright red. We'll add some roots and fungus all over it. Some white spots on that mushroom cap and a little shading with some eyes will bring this shroom golem to life. We are gonna need some big space for these guys because they are big with some big mushroom caps. This guy looks like he's wearing a sun hat over here. Let's see if we can trade him something more valuable for that mushroom hat. There's a brown mushroom. Give me something in return? Maybe? Oh, hey, wait a second. Come on now. Something better than that. More dirt. This stuff is useless. All right. I have an idea for a better golem. It'll need to be creepy and broken. We'll rearrange some bits and pieces here. Give it some super big eyes. That expression is giving me chills, man. Add some vines atop that too big of a head and he's ready to go. I think. Now that is a lopsided 
skull. The nose looks so off where the eyes are that big. One massive pupil, one not so massive pupil. It looks like an old teddy bear with the eyes popped out of it. Of course, this big beefy broken golem is going to be just as strong as a regular golem and smash everything. But on top of that, he's got knockback on every single hit. To make the Iron Golem even better, I'm going to turn it into a dragon. Our armored boy needs to be extra thick and bulky. Stubby legs and tail with a huge head and heavy body. This guy's basically got a hammer for a head and armored plating all over. We'll color him so he's like made up of rocks and ores. Look at this beefy boy with his little wings. What the beefiest dragons we've got and my hope is that this armor we can see it act as a sort of protective barrier against the toxic nature of the undead dragon he sort of wobbles side to side as he walks around ever so slowly but all that extra weight isn't useless the armored dragon has a shockwave attack that does an insane amount of damage Boom, knocked that husk up and dies on the way down. And the way that the armored dragon charges to do his attack could get him out of any toxic pools that might be underneath him. Golems are fearsome village guardians, but what if they were cuddly instead? This cuddly golem needs to be rounded out so it's extra cuddly. Give those arms some elbows so it can give proper hugs. We'll make his face more friendly with some teddy bear ears and a little snout. Final touches and look at this big cuddly golem. Him. Let's start this experiment away from civilization first. Oh, but he does look cuddly. A massive big heart right on the chest is screaming at me. I love life. So far, so good. Hold on a second. Let me get some bones here. There you go. Hello, Junior. Oh, he's chasing the wolf down right away. And is he whacking or he's hugging? He's hugging. He's definitely hugging. He has to be hugging. Looks like a hug. It doesn't really look like a hug. I need to test out my creation to be certain. Sayonara to a couple of these. And let's see if this guy will hug me. Oh, he did. He did hug me. I think I want to make a scary iron golem. Wait, I got it. A Frankenstein golem. Give him a more pale skin tone. Thicken up those eyebrows. His simple hair tufts on top of his head. And one of these Frankenstein bolts that is basically holding everything together, I think. And the monster is normally wearing pants with a ripped t-shirt. Add some more bolts here down the side. And the sweet Sweet Frankenstein bracers. Now you've got Frankenstein's creation himself to go alongside you. And Frankenstein's monster looks absolutely massive. Pieced together by a couple of bolts there and there. And those eyebrows that just make him look angry. Let's see if we could possibly channel some of that anger. It looks like he's already getting after these husks. And Frankenstein's monster throws an electric bolt that launched the husk away up onto the hill. And over there again, let's turn this iron iron golem into a lumber golem. We'll buff up that upper body, give him some beefy arms for swinging axes, a huge pair of axes, perfect for cutting down trees, and we'll finish him off with a classic lumberjack outfit. This should be perfect for our lumber golem. That guy's looking beefy. And those lumberjack legs are looking a little small, but double axes will probably make up for those tiny little legs. This lumberjack golem needs to be my companion. So I gotta see what he can do for me in case I need to build a log cabin or a fire or something like that. All right, Lumber Golem, get to work. Oh, double axes at the same time. He's chopping down this massive tree right here and he instantly moves on to the next tree as well. If I had 20 different Lumberjack Golems, we would be able to chop down this forest in no time. All of the Lumberjack Golems get to work. They're working on the same tree, actually. It probably would be more efficient to work on different trees. Ah, we're gonna have to organize some sort of management structure. Seems like a whole lot of work. Another way to make an Iron Golem easier even better is by turning it into a golden golem. I'm gonna start by removing these arms. Don't worry, buddy, I'll give them back. Blast them with this eye burning yellow and make them a whole lot thicker. Not really a fan of this big nose, so I'm gonna use it to make him a golden crown. This golden color isn't quite right yet, so I'll start with a bit of shading. There it is. That is the kind of gold I'll want. Okay, I may have spent way too much time trying to get this golden texture just right. I didn't want there to only be gold though, so I decided to give it these cobblestone arms, but they are turning out great. Then after finishing up some details on this guy's face. I think the iron, nope, scratch that. The gold golem is ready to rock. 
Oh, look at that guy. Now, I probably should not have gone ahead and required him to join me. This guy could definitely beat me up. Oh my. He's literally dropping it onto the ground. Time for the moment of truth. I have put myself in harm's way to find out he is in fact still friendly. This is very good news indeed. And now that we know he's on our side and we saw what happened last time, how about that? Fend me and go. Oh, look at him go into the air. Yikes. That piglin was a witness to the heavens. This iron golem is going to become the overlord of darkness. This is going to be the shadow elemental. Iron isn't going to cut it. Let's make this golem's body a super strong dark stone. Sculpt some jagged spikes all along the body. Then we'll carve in a bright fiery face. Lighten up some veins of energy. Almost like crying obsidian. Add crystals to the feet and hands to form some claws. This shadowy behemoth is looking ready to go. This shadow golem is massive. And we've given him the horns and the boss bar. These mobs are totally awesome. If you want some mobs like these in your world, check out Gobs of Mobs on the Minecraft Marketplace.